Hi peoples, Dano here. Today I'd like to tell you about a nifty battery powered bass amp that I built. First, I want to show you my trusty Fender amp can. This is a great battery powered guitar amp. Loud enough to play with a drummer, sounds good, runs all day on a charge. You want your band to play away from a power outlet? This is the real deal. Let me show you how this sounds. I've looked and looked for a battery powered bass amp that's also loud, good sounding, and runs all day. I couldn't find one, so I built one. This is the bass bucket. I like to think of it as the amp can's long lost big brother, like Racer X in the Speed Racer cartoons. I don't know why I didn't think of this years ago, but the ubiquitous and rugged 5 gallon pail makes a great 20 liter speaker enclosure. Stick in a 10 inch speaker a 12 volt alarm battery, and a bridge car audio amp, and presto, I present the bass bucket. Let me show you how this sounds. I'm using a little multi-effects preamp, which is part of the sound, but I'll tell you, this thing really sounds great. It's loud, and it goes all day. It just rocks. Here's a few details. I'm going to tell you where I got my parts, but I don't really have any connection to these companies. You can get nice quality 5-gallon plastic pails from usplastics.com. That's where I got mine. Most of the other stuff I got from partsexpress.com. I think the speaker choice is really critical. I used an Eminence Baselight S2010. Parts Express also has a perfect matching 10 inch grill. You need an 8 inch plywood square, kind of with the corners cut off, to bolt into the floor of this. I used some big rubber feet to bolt through that wooden board, and the power amplifier and the battery are bolted to the wooden board. That keeps everything nice and tidy on the bottom of the unit. Any two-channel car amp uh, used bridge would work fine. I used an old Sony 2x30 watt amp, and I used a 12-volt, 7-amp-hour gel cell battery, about yay big, that's usually for house alarms, something like that. I mounted an audio input jack, a charging jack, and a power switch on the side of the bucket, and the handle is made out of a 1-inch by 8-inch by three foot aluminum bar from Home Depot. I might even write up this project for Parts Express. So I hope you enjoyed hearing about my project. Maybe you'll be inspired to build one yourself. Ciao for now.